so today just discuss why we are doing python python we are not doing to replace our c program or java program they are meant for the each other so why python python is mainly for data science what is data science data science means there lot of data is generated right now right now you are google searching or your whatsapp that everyone is data is you are generating data at, at least three four places at google places at facebook places a lot of information is there and from there the, all the marketing companies because you know the google is run by ad agency even facebook also they are not taking money from you they are taking your attention and you are giving your attention and the other companies are looking your eyeballs and put the advertisement and they are getting the money so this is a social networking age and they are getting money so run by it so python is and there there is a the money earlier in around 20 years back the money with is a bank and finance companies they are using oracle as a database and uh, c java and all but right now the whole money is ad market most of the money 50 to 60% so they are generating program so they generating program to huge data set not a 1 kilobyte to 1 petabyte so this kinds of data handling cannot be done by c cannot be done by java because the problem there is no problem with c c you must learn i must i am telling that c is main for monolithic programming whatever the python interpreter or ids all are developed with c only not with java so c is the basic language which is running so all python virtual machine written in c that is a c string but there is a negative point of c a negative point of c also that is i want to highlight then how the java is handled first of all if you write a c program like if you write a command like c is equal to a by divide by 0 like this or you say int c equal to 1 and there is some error what is the error divide by 0 error but divide by 0 error we all know 100 years back the divide by 0 is there the is there you cannot divide by 0 it is not positive infinity or negative infinity it is in undecidable number but those c is very popular language they have not handled it what is the handle because sometimes in intermediate program in a variable can become zero or near zero and then it produce this kind of error there are two types of thing that one is error error and another can you tell me any other term exception what is the difference between error and exception this is error and another is exception error or exception what is the different subtle different is there errors whenever some your power supply out or CP, your memory error that is called error you can you cannot handle but you can see how to handle another exception which is occurred by divide by 0 or in c array there are 100 elements you want to con you want to connect 101 element then it will also give an error c program would come out so what is the problem of c the problem of c is c have not handled this kind of error which can occur any time like zero division error out of index error there are lots of errors cannot handle so c program it is very until and unless you know your input domain is very fixed it cannot generate this kind of exception then you can then it can be by c but in real life anything can come in in, in between so there are so many times array out of index division by zero there are lots of other exceptions those the python can only handle it and it doesn't come out of the program that is the main good point of the python and also java there is you already know that is the try except else can anybody tell me next though some of you know python what are the block try except zero division error say zero division error can anybody tell me except try except no that is catch is seen from java here it is except here except and it is uh, it is a i think catch uh, every finally finally so this block would be always executed 
this is block this is tri block and there is different exception i will handle then else and this is the finally these block of code will be always executed so in java that is called catch it is called try except everything is same because python came earlier than java remember it is not java java is probably copying from python so there is all exception handling is there so in any real time so python is dynamic you know python variables are dynamic so it cannot have to recompile it again like see that, that is one major point and i drifted from one point that is the data science data science means there huge data is generated and from that data you have to get the knowledge what is and from the knowledge you know information data is there lots of data then you have to run program to get the vital statistics of the data and get some knowledge some facts something add like this so that you can see you you go to you see any right now any big shopping market you see whenever you are making transaction out there are lot of things are together so that you can buy they always try to make it uh, so many they generate the bill so how they get data how they come to know in 30 years back there is a fantastic uh, discovery it is it is always uh, uh, mentioned as a basically so called a beer and napkin case why the beer because in us and europe there are, in the friday night they always go out for a journey and they always buy beer and uh, uh, napkin together because they want to take their child they do not want to hassle so they now they keep the racks of beer and napkins together so now they are getting more sales that is they come out the knowledge no from any common sense but they see the bills of the friday market they see the lot of people are buying beer and napkins together so they keep it in the same place together so they can so that is the thing that there are lot of reorganization if you go to the your any big shopping site anyway so and you can see whenever you are buy amazon product you see the other uh, certain things they are say you can buy all this they say how they generate this thing because everywhere this a uh, machine learning is up acting when are you are opening your gmail whether you amazon background some machine learning your past behavior how i purchase whether you have searched anything automatically it would come up your facebook it whether you come open up gmail whether you have instagram it will automatically come because they track it okay so that is called the data science data science means your huge data petabyte of our data and they are processing it and the processing it c cannot handle java cannot handle only python can handle and there are two libraries are there one library today will start that is one numpy and another is numpy another library is pandas what is the difference numpy some of you i have already covered numpy is what in the c there is array but in python there is no array but array has some good benefit can you tell me what is the benefit of array anyone anyone a benefit of array over list in python python has list but the list is problem is different types of objects so if, if you want to 99th element you do not know at what position 99 is because before that 4 bytes 2 bytes 4 bytes is integer or something um, or bytes uh, maybe floating point number so you have to go linearly so you have to go 1 2 so but you see array is directly can go because it's homogeneous so there is no homogeneous data type in python equivalent to array but different is this numpy numpy is if you like a malloc and calloc in c you can get contiguous memory and not only that you can calculate maximum minimum standard deviation library is there that is numpy and that is pandas pandas you can put all your excel table big excel table into that so that is will coming so these are the basic things are there Mm. and another is the artificial intelligence artificial is a big topic but within artificial if you say the artificial intelligence is this topic then here the topic is machine learning here is the sub topic is the machine learning what is machine learning machine learning again you see the lot of data is generated from there you can you can forecast the what is the data next data there are many types of machine learning one is uh, one is the supervised learning 
supervise means somebody supervised the learning that is the easiest way supervised learning that is of two type anyone supervise one output is a continuous number if you give say number of flat prices here so how many rooms are there how many locality square feet which floor the value may vary say 20 lakhs 30 lakhs like this is a output is that is called regression regression where output is continuous output is real real number that is your input is lots of data are there already labeled data if the, uh, these are the three, uh, three bedroom flat in this locality this is a square feet this is the price there are some hundreds of data and then you can get the this thing you want to tell something so so this is this is regression and another is the classification classification you want to classify the data is there say various imaging type of say uh, brain tumors and which are the malign cancer which is the classification of cancer so that is called the classification classification both are both are uh, supervised another is unsupervised there you do not have to give any supervised classes but automatically it will come with the result that is most interesting one supervised you mean lot of lots of data lots of input data but unsupervised you automatically the computer program will learn so that is a these are all coming from the artificial this is a key area and their only language is right now python and another is r there is no other C C is not there, Java is not there. So we we try to do a little more project one this linear regression. I will come linear re regression. That means you have to forecast the variable like your car fitting. That is a linear regression. There are lots of points in there. You have to put a straight line uh, to nearest uh, to the point. So the mean square error is minimum. That is the linear regression. And you can put a curved line. A polynomial equation with again minimum. So this is a regression. This is only possible with all the basic libraries are there, GUI and the Python is totally free, open source, unlike Java. Java is not free because Java is from the Oracle Corporation. Multi-computer support, you can run Python many places and many computer, and this is support. And you get the default data structure that is not get in Java, that is dictionary, like you have covered, like say frozen set. Dictionary is interesting data structure because it is a your searching time is O1, not ON. Because you know dictionary is not indexed. Dictionary is by key hash. So it is a hash you will cover in data structure class. Hash, I will just give you an example. It will uh, store in a thing so that it can be found in O1. Most of our memory are all this. We are basically working in a dictionary order. We do not keep our data in 0th place, but in your memory, we do not keep 0, 1, 2 like this. So it is, dictionary is more, act as intelligent. Say it is also. And NumPy is a numerical array. Matplotl is a graphical, scientific Python, scientific machine learning. And this is also machine learning. So these are the small, small things. I today I'll start with some. And this one I have already probably told you. This is the problem area you have to solve. This problem area is just a why an irregular pattern. You describe the problem in English language sentence, not algorithm. Then you try to find some algorithm to it. Don't uh, go for you which environment it will run. Whether it will run in Android app, whether it runs in your computer. So this is your algorithm. That algorithm, you know, there are various algorithms. The linear search, it is nothing but brute force. You are searching 0, 8, first, second, third. Then the divide and conquer, like mass sort. You divide, then the dynamic programming, it again a divide and conquer. You try to get results. There are various randomized algorithms, various types of algorithm you come to know in your subsequent years or semesters and then you try to program this is the program this is called the program it program maybe dot c file dot java dot python and whenever you compile the program then it will call not program you know when it is running in cpu we call it process process or task 
processor task are same, but in C language again, there is no threading support. Threading advantage of threading support, but most of the CPUs are right now quad core or octa core. So you can get result from various cores. If the C program, because you cannot generate thread, actually C run faster, but you cannot utilize the other cores of your CPU. I mean in Java and Python, you can get multi-thread support. Today we will cover the multi-thread. So any question till set is set yes what question here yeah. yeah good frozen set what is set set is not indexed set is you cannot say zero eighth element first element set is unordered unordered collection of items of one item each you cannot have a duplicate items in a set but you can add and delete an items in a set and frozen set you cannot add and delete so frozen set it lasts like a tuple but what is the difference between tuple and frozen set tuple is indexed but it is frozen and frozen set is frozen but it is not indexed agreed but it is not a dictionary it is a frozen but your items are not indexed items are can only occurs one time so this is a frozen set say here and frozen set there is a frozen set it is say a comma b comma a c so what is the equivalent of frozen set no a duplication will go off so a b c same as set but you cannot add element or delete item in set you can add and delete so that is the difference in set you can add items, delete items, but in frozen set you cannot. So for then what is happening? The frozen set can be in dictionary in your key. In dictionary key, everything should be immutable. So frozen set is immutable. Tuple is immutable. Any number is immutable. Any string is immutable. So in dictionary, left order can be frozen set, but not set. Clear? Any doubt about set and frozen set? So this kind of idea it is not there in Java and Python. And what is your question, please? Drawbacks yeah, drawbacks of Python are many. Python is ten, at least ten times slower than C, more than ten times. At least three times slower than Java. Many drawbacks. This is main drawback. And another drawback is like our banking application, like your typical. Android and application, Python has not very good support. It is definitely two to three times lower. So why are you interested in Python? So in our class, in our objective will be, you should do a small project on machine learning. The, there the Python is king or queen. There is no, it's Java is not there, C is not there, C++ is not there. What is machine learning? Machine learning is everywhere. Machine learning means from your data, you have to predict. Say so you have a number of flat prices and you have to predict the flat of this value at this locality, what should the price. Machine learning, your images, you have to predict the which type of cancer. Machine learning, uh, say uh, anywhere you predict, prediction, in stock market, everywhere, machine learning. You will, everywhere in Amazon, whenever you buy a book, they will suggest you should buy earlier, uh, those who have purchased this book. Any other question? So Python has many drawbacks, main drawbacks is speed. All for building any utility at your desktop, at your, you can work it at any place. Google is supporting Python at Colab. Google is not supporting any other language in that way. So you can run program on Google's computer and Kaggle's computer. So that is the advantage. All libraries are there. So all the costly libraries, machine learning is there. dictionary may contest dictionary. These items are clear. So okay. So import threading. You need to import this thing, otherwise you will not get threading support in Python. This will get the get PID, not get process ID. I told you the process of task. And you get the thread name. 